Well, you know, I'm a teacher, but as a teacher, I'm also always learning, right? It's a never ending process. So I just recently realized that it was time for me to put down my sword and my shield that was connected to an emotional soldier that would show up to protect my heart in certain circumstances, right? Because I've experienced a little bit of PTSD from being violated in certain ways within a relationship, it has caused me to be very protective when I feel like there's this revenge energy or something like that coming up from a female. So I just got to a space where I decided I'm going to tell my emotional soldier that shows up, right? That that trigger, that, that soldier that shows up to protect me that he can go now. And if I'm in a situation with a female and I feel that come up, I could just calmly express that I don't feel safe right now because of the way that you're or um, the way you're communicating to me or the way you're doing something. It's, it's triggering a fear of chaos, being in the midst of chaos and drama, and I don't want any drama in my life. So it's no need for me to get all extra protective of myself as long as I can just explain why I'm feeling this way, how, what's causing me to feel this way. It's a more conscious way of getting through that feeling. And if I continue to do this over time, that feeling will eventually fade away. But I'm just admitting to myself that it's time to let that emotional soldier go. So if you have an emotional soldier that shows up, to protect you and you're actually in a safer environment or you're prejudging an environment because it may trigger some trauma that you experienced in your past, just remember that the less you react with the trigger, the less you will attract things that will trigger that emotional soldier to come out to attempt to protect you. So let's heal. Let's build. Peace and love.